My name is Lana Bastasic. I'm a writer from Bosnia and I'm here in Santa Maddalena Foundation for September 2020. So when I got here, I think this was my favorite room immediately because of all the books, but also there's this feeling that a, a lot of writers went through this book and left their work and a lot of dedications to Beatrice and um, it was nice to be surrounded by the same books as those people and also to realize who stayed here in Santa Maddalena um, Ondaatje, Zadie Smith, Michael Cunningham, Bruce Chatwin, um, also um, from my own country, Dalid Al Bahari was here, Dasha Drandic was here, um, uh, Muharrem Bazdu was here, so. and uh, I even saw my book in translation for the first time in this room, so that was really nice. Uh, and I like that I found the uh, Gospodino here, which is this book that we have been talking about for a, a while, uh, because um, I really like his work. I read him in Croatian, and he talks about uh, um, the myth of the Minotaur as a child with trauma abandoned by his mother, and how every every story begins with a child thrown in the basement. And that sentence really stayed with me, so I decided to structure my story collection around that idea and kind of try to look at childhood trauma as an important trait um, as identity develops. Uh, so I just finished the collection and it's called Milk Teeth, which is actually baby teeth in English, but in my language is milk teeth and I like this idea of teeth being something that children lose or exchange for money or adulthood and the idea that they're made of milk so they can be eaten and also teeth are something that you can use to inflict pain on others but you also need it for nourishment and now my dog is here because I have my own dog in Santa Magdalena you can't see her uh, her name is Jamaica and we go for a walk almost every day and she stays with me in the tower and I feel very special and loved. I still have a bit of imposter syndrome that I, I wake up in that beautiful tower and I look at those trees and I see the memorial to Grisha and I think what am I doing here and why did they invite me? I, I don't deserve to be here but then I see that there's a there is a nice democracy about this place that people are not invited because they're something, but maybe because they could do something with being here and staying here. And uh, I feel really honored to just be a part of this story.